So let's take a look at the module in action. Here we've got the GPS speed and also the driven speed. Now the driven speed is from the ABS system of the car. Um, with about, it's got around about 64 teeth on the wheel, um, so it's very high resolution. Comparing the two, it's useful to see just how accurate our 50 hertz is. As the car accelerates, we can then basically pull the data from the ECU and analyze what has just happened. The log in front of you is now the data from that actual run. And you can see here clearly the GPS speed is actually being plotted as vehicle speed. That's because I've assigned the vehicle speed to the GPS because I want this actual application to be used for traction control. Here you can actually see the driven speed actually raises here where the actual tires spin. And actually we can see in this area here where the actual car is actually spinning completely. So the key thing to look at here is actually how well the traction control worked with this setup in order to keep the longitudinal G, the acceleration forces on the car, constant and um, keep it maximized. So if we open up a, a parameter here, which is TC torque, you can actually see at the points here where the actual tires were starting to spin in relevance to our GPS speed, just how useful it was in controlling the spin and actually allowing the car to maintain its course and uh, acceleration. Now the other thing you can do is once you've got the data from the lateral and longitudinal positioning, you can actually plot a track map. So in this particular car, it was literally a case of just pulling out of the uh, office, driving around on the straight road outside the office and then uh, accelerating the car. So if you go to track map here and then make, you can actually see it grabs that data from the GPS positioning information and plots it. And this is really useful for when you're on the circuit. You can do basically lap timing from it. You can also then limit your traction control and power in different areas and sectors of the, uh, the track. Or if you're just on a drag strip, it's useful to be able to plot out where you are in position to uh, the actual position on the strip, whether you're in the 60 foot, the 8th, you can plot out and limit your power to suit. Hopefully this is a key to showing you what the, the system can do.